All right, we are going to start our next unit, which is Unit B. Today we're going to do Lesson A, Day 1. I know they can seem a little bit confusing, but just make sure that you follow the title on the top of the note sheet to match with the video. Our objective for today is I can create or manipulate a linear function in slope-intercept form. So just to recall, our slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is going to be our slope, and the b is going to be our y-intercept. Last unit, we spent a lot of time actually graphing these equations. Spent a lot of time looking at, at it in standard form versus slope-intercept form. Today, what we're going to focus on is writing the equations in slope-intercept form. So we don't necessarily have to graph them. We're more or less just going to give the equation to write them. So if we look at our first example, it says write the equation of the line given the slope and the y-intercept. So for each of these examples, we want to plug back in that y equals mx plus b. So if we look at our first example, part A, it says that our slope is negative 3 and our y-intercept is 5. So if I go back to y equals mx plus b, we said that our slope is the m value. So when I'm writing my answer or my equation, I'm going to have y equals negative 3x. And then for my intercept, it says that it's 5. So that's going to be my b value. Make sure to always include that sign in front. So for our first one, our equation is y equals negative 3x plus 5. Now, if we look at letter B, we have the same thing again. This is going to be my m, the 2 thirds, and my b is going to be the negative 1. So if I go back to my original equation, I'm going to have y equals 2 thirds x minus 1. We always want to make sure that that mx comes before our b value. So your x should always be before that constant. Again, remember to include the sign in front. So we had a negative 1 here. So we include that sign in front. Again, our slope needs to remain as a fraction. Do not change that back to a decimal. Now, if we look at our last one, it already tells me my m is going to be 2 and my y-intercept is going to be 0. So if I want to plug back into my equation, I have y equals 2x plus 0 because my intercept would be at 0, 0. However, when we're writing this or when you would see it on a quiz or a test with the equation given, we don't have to include that plus 0. So the simplified equation here would be y equals 2x. Not too bad. All you're really doing is identifying the information that's given and plugging back into that slope-intercept form. So it's extremely important to know that your m is the slope and the b is your y-intercept. The u tries will save for class tomorrow. If we look at our next example, it says write the equation of the line given a point and our slope. So again, we're going to use y equals mx plus b. So if we look at the information that they give us, they give me that my m is negative 2. So if I go with my first step and I write the information that they give me, I have y equals negative 2x plus b. That's the only information that I have. However, they give me this point of 6, negative 3. I can plug those in for x and y to solve for b. That way we can eliminate those other two variables to find our b value. So if I plug that in, I have negative 3 equals negative 2 times 6, because this is my x and my y, plus b. Now this is a two-step equation. Negative 2 times 6 is going to be negative 12 equals negative 3, and then we have our plus b. So to get b by itself, I'm going to add 12 to both sides and I get that b is equal to 9. So now I have those two pieces of information that I need to write the equation of the line. I have my b value, and they gave me that m value. So my equation here is going to be y equals negative 2x plus 9. 
If we look at letter B, same thing again. Let's plug in the information that they give us. So we have y equals 1 half x plus b. At this point, we have three different variables. Remember, in the end, though, we just want to have that x and the y left over. So we have to find our b. So we're going to do our same steps again of plugging in these points. So this is my x. This is my y. So I'm going to have 1 equals 1 half times 4 plus b. So 1 half times 4 is going to be 2. So I have 1 equals 2 plus b. Next thing I want to do is get that b by itself. So I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. So I have negative 1 equals b. Again, I have the two pieces of information. I have that slope equals 1 half, and my b value is going to be negative 1. So I can now write the equation of the line. So I have y equals 1 half x minus 1. So this is our equation of the line. Same thing, this is our equation of the line for the last one. Now if we look at part C, again, let's give the information that they give us. We have y equals 5x plus b. Now, if you take a look, some of you should be able to recognize that this is actually the y-intercept. So this information is the same as what was given to us in example one. So we can write our equation right now. We don't even need to have that variable for b. So I can erase that. And what I have now is y equals 5x plus 3. Remember, because this is that y-intercept. However, if you guys didn't recognize that, we go back to the original y equals 5x plus b. If I plug in, I have 3 equals 5 times 0 plus b. 5 times 0 is 0, so I still get that our b value is equal to 3. So either way, if you have to plug in your x and y values, this is what it would look like. But if we recognized that this point here is our y-intercept, we don't even have to show this extra work like we did in part A and part B. So again, our equation of the line here is y equals 5x plus 3. Again, we're going to save the U tries for class tomorrow. You need to make sure that you flip over the back side of your page and answer these questions in order to get credit for your note sheet. This should be an easy one for you guys to get credit for since there's only six examples to look at. We'll see you in class tomorrow.